See, the auto shutter speed is uh, playing about. Now, it prob those props will probably slow down in just a second because the sun will make it make the shutter speed. Look at that! Well, I don't know about you guys, but um, to me, it was worth going live just to see that. I mean, that was... <laughs> As I was filming, I didn't want to say a word because um, I didn't want to uh, interrupt the, <laughs> the visual on that. That was beautiful. Well, I thought so anyway. I hope you liked it. Right, come on, loads of messages. So hi to everybody, Leslie White. Hello, Leslie, how nice to have you back on here. Lovely smiley face with uh, rosy um, red cheeks. Uh, I'm surprised in this um, hot weather. Uh, da, da, da. 936 Farmer CH, nice place for camping in the middle of a wheat field. Yeah, they, um, they cut this uh, yesterday. And uh, the, the tractors went around earlier and uh, collected it all up. And there's a huge bale of... Um, the s all the bales are dum, just out of sight behind the caravan. I said to somebody, I said, Hey, it's a good job James is not down here. Jamesy, he'd probably be trying to climb up on them and uh, get in a better shot. <laughs> you know, as a manager, I hope, I hope I'm joking. Um, Leslie White, yeah, she says, Hi, Stu. Um, <laughs> the pesky rabbit, I like it. Go through these messages, keep them coming. Aviation Kid, have you got any idea of the Airbridge Cargo 747 TMA on Sunday? I don't know, but I know a man who might, and that's um, Jamesy. He's the man, and then no, he, he follows that all over the place, that plane. I think he's seen just about every one of them. Um, State of Mayflower District News. Hey, Asia World, gonna, gonna do one at Lake Aneath. Yeah, yesterday. I was there at Lake Aneath yesterday. Um, for most of the day so if you want to see some of that just um look at yesterday's uh, video but for some reason i've been editing it on the automated automated editing system on youtube because the first 17 minutes is just uh, a blue screen so if you do watch it because it's not i don't know why the editing thing's not working on it it's a real pain but just fast forward it in um, by 17 minutes and that's where it starts okay uh, and you'll hear me the reasons why throughout the um, actual stream why we were late starting and um, <laughs> and I was giving James some grief about it for sending me somewhere but he didn't know that it was out of bounds now um I stayed at my Mayflower, just, yes, we just did. Oh, did you hear about the U-2 spy plane that did the emergency landing at Mildenhall? Yeah, too right, we did. Yeah, <laughs> I was at Lake and Heath and that was here. So I was slightly cursing. I thought, oh, why didn't I stay at Mildenhall? But hey, you can't be in two places at once. Uh, David Roach, loving the Hercules shot coming in from Cambridge. And I think it's around the back at the moment so we'll um, see it again in just a moment and I can hear another one powering up behind me still no sign of the um, Osprey jet David Roach loving the hook yeah we just did that flash I was at Lake Heath earlier around 7 F-15s went up I bet that was brilliant yeah I love the F-15s they're great um, Paul Vickery evening Stu hope all is well yep pretty damn good Kevin Gribden says there's the money shot <laughs> that's why i went really quiet so you could enjoy that shot. and it it was i was taking it thinking oh my lord that looks nice that was stunning says sam glover i'm oliver k 
Hilin, I think I'll probably pronounce it, I'm sure I pronounced it wrong. Sorry, sorry. And um let's have a look. Ian S says awesome. Thank you. 936 Farmer C H uh Merrigan. Uh Burmese Urla is the main Swiss airbase for the Swiss Army Boeing FA eight e and d's thank you for that aviation keep me eyes to the sky as well aviation kid um i just need to know when it lands and takes off because it takes me and my dad an hour to get there okay jay says evening and a wave i am just going to get a lead for a second okay so i should and um, the video will continue but i shall be back talking to you in just a second okay um oh by the way, Aviation Kid, normally turns up, you need to be down there for around about 12.30. Okay, normally turns up um, maybe 1.30, 2.30, something like that. I'm sure James will give you more information in the chat box. I'll be back talking to you in just a moment. Hold on. Just a little bit of noise, just want to pop the um, headset back on. Um, Aviation Kid, thanks, dude. Not a problem, it's a pleasure. I a little little um. What that means, I a little little um. What that means is I'm looking around to see if we have our Strix C130 coming around yet. Stick with us. I'll try to keep you entertained, having a laugh, having a joke, whatever you want. Put a message in. Say hello. Davish. Bah. Bahagava. Be not OP. I'm not sure what that means. Um, if you want to explain that a little bit more, please. Steve Campbell. Hi, mate. Was sat in the white car next to you this afternoon. Good to see something is finally happening at Mildenhall. At Mildenhall. After a quiet day. Oh, boy, wasn't it? It was Stiflingly hot, wasn't it? Um, let me think. Were you the young um, young man and with um, your wife, I, I assume, and the little girl, and you were in the little tent? Um, was that was that you? If it is, um, it was an absolute pleasure to say hi. So, sorry, we didn't get you on on the video. If that's who it is, sorry, we didn't get on the video. I'd have loved to have done that. So no doubt you will answer that. Malcolm Cook, evening all. Lovely shot against the sunset. 73s. Mike 6. Echo. Romeo. Uniform. It's another amateur radio chap. Okay, chappies and ladies. If we look towards that willow tree, as if by magic. Okay, I'm going to, for starters, I'm going to go quiet. Do a, a wide angle shot to start off. Okay. And then we're going to zoom in. Loving it, loving it. He can do that all night, but uh, yes, the sun is setting. There we go. Just point that that away. Right, where we are? Oh, yes, chat box. We were saying hello to all you fantastic people, and um, appreciate everything you're doing. I've said many times to you guys the whole this 
say less than two weeks but we've been doing the live streams Asia world's been going for 11 years right but I'm just I've started doing this hopefully to build it up um, and the more you guys share this about hopefully the more successful it will be and if it is it will encourage me to get out even more and uh, do this live filming for you Leslie White and um, big supporter she uh, always pops on and puts um, nice smiley faces and hi Stu um, Steve uh, Campbell yeah that was us in the orange shelter hey I'm pleased it was pleased I got that right and uh, yeah liked the t-shirt as well that was a cool t-shirt you had on mate and um, I'm just sorry I didn't get you and your, your lovely family actually on the video earlier because there was nothing to film Gary Keller ah right this is the gentleman who was based at RF Mildenhall from 1969 to 1973 we mostly had C130s C141s C5As wow C5As wow they're screaming planes they were so noisy hey and KC135s and he's saying great show thank you very much that's very kind of you to say so and i hope you enjoy these uh, sunset shots that um we are getting uh let's um i don't i don't want to embarrass this um this gentleman just here but uh, there we go you see look you can bring tents as well so this young man is uh, so you might hear a bit of noise in a minute from some guy um i'll try to get his name in a bit say hello to him and he's setting his tent up So, why but why have we got no Jamesy down here? Come on, Jamesy, I'm sure you do a holiday. Steve Campbell, yeah, that. Uh, oh, sorry, yeah, just done that one. Whoops. <laughs> okay, keep the messages coming. Um, as I say, you don't have to know. <laughs> don't have to know about aeroplanes. Be like me, <laughs> just enjoy watching them. Yeah, but if you're watching this, whoever you are. Put a message in the chat box and we will uh, say hello to you. So you see, this is what this guy's got to do. There we go. You see, I, I told you. There he is, putting his tent together. Give us a wave, young man. <laughs> He's going fishing. <laughs> Sorry, Tom, you're going out live. Hey, young man. <laughs> you young man. You're going... You, you're going out live to 5,000 people. Okay. <laughs> not really, not that many, but you are going out live. And uh, we'll just try to explain to people that about the campsite as well here. That um, It's a beautiful evening for it, sir. Yeah. Whereabouts are you from? Let's have a word. Whereabouts are you from, sir? Netherlands. From the Netherlands. Wow. Fabulous. What do you think to the hot weather over here at the moment? It's good. Oh. Enjoy. Hope you get to see some aeroplanes. Sorry? Any day. Yeah, we're famous for rain, aren't we, over in uh, the UK? But this is quite unusual. I won't put you off, and I'll let you put your tent up. Hope you get to see some aircraft uh, while you're here. And di did I catch your name? Nope. Where, where, what's your name, sir? Menno. Menno. Yeah. Pleased to meet you. We're, we're at Show World. So if you get a chance, tune in sometime. And that's what it's all about. Come down. But if you're coming down, make sure you give John a call first because um, it's full. It's absolutely full. Um, as far as the caravan site's concerned, and little tent site, they're taking tents now. Um, they weren't able to do tents, um, but uh, obviously with COVID. But now we're back to normal. Hey, how about that? F um, Fighter Sweep has very um kindly um just donated five pounds wow thank you very very much and that's what happens if you use the dollar icon that you can see in the chat box if you um do a donate you get a big banner come up and um, you know i see it straight away and of course you get a message um straight up and i will read it out and um, say many many thanks and it helps um 
may stop getting dehydrated <laughs> so if you do want to do if you are enjoying this as well as passing the uh message around about air show world and sharing it if you are enjoying it it doesn't cost anything to watch and doesn't cost anything to put a message nothing to subscribe but if you join it you're more than welcome to um make a donation and i'll have a drink on you thank you very much Either that or get some diesel for the next outing. Nice and quiet. right so just one moment keep the messages coming our way so yep yeah, fight to sweep that is really appreciated thanks for the transporting me back to the hall for another lovely evening keep up the great work and it's an absolute pleasure and you are a gentleman and a scholar and i'll tell you what i will um use that to have a, a drink later on uh, you so thank you fighter sweep thing is if more people donated you could imagine i'd be like uh <laughs> i'd be buying all the booze all the time <laughs> but no thank you very very much back to these wonderful messages c5 reach 851 is coming into Milden is it that's David Roach how far out is it David how far, how far away let me know and uh, let's hope it's not too dark when it comes in if you watched last night um, I was able to keep filming longer than normal because um, I put the night um, vision shot on and uh, yes it made the picture go green a little bit green but it was so dark it didn't matter but what it did it meant we could see the airplanes in the sky you, uh, you couldn't see them with your eyes but that allowed us. So we'll see what happens later. There might not be anything flying. But if that um, C5 actually turns up, well, we will see. Aviation kid. So I'll try social distancing uh, to me. Yeah, no problem. Hey, listen, it'll be an absolute pleasure. Okay. Um, three, sorry, 936 Pharma CH. Wow, just a perfect place. It is. Um, uh, Ryan Hunt, you there all week? I was just going to mention that actually. Thanks for tweaking the uh, jigsaw brain. Um, yes, I last Wednesday myself and Jamesy were at Coningsby. And if you want to see the um, night flying for Coningsby, well, it was from the afternoon and into the evening from four o'clock to 10 30 at night. What a marathon one that was! Six hours of, of video, but you can just squiddle your way through it fast forward it to get to your little bit because his bits like it is today we have nothing going on but you'll see the one and only Jimbo James and um, we're having a bit of a chat with him and uh, let telling us all about it but anyway yes see that cloud formation over there <laughs> <laughs> okay um i'm here all week so i arrived last thursday so i shall be here until um saturday okay so i'll be going back to uh, east midlands airport on saturday so please let's get some ospreys in between now and then hey What's been flying? That's um, Helen Ward. Helen, how nice to have you on the uh, channel. Well, currently in the um, circuit, we've got uh, C-130J, and um, that's the call sign of Strix. Is it 62? I, I forget now. Anyway, that's in the circuit at the moment, and um, but we started the show off really um, tonight with the arrival of this beautiful uh, KC sorry what am i talking about yeah kc10 
yeah and uh, that was an amazing site so i really recommend you check that out um uh, a little later I, i'm not sure i think you can rewind while we're actually live right but you have a look at that and the um, backdrop as it came in with the uh, beautiful beautiful sunset it was quite nice and there's been some beautiful shots as well um with the uh it's you get amazing sunsets here okay jeff bundy um letting us know that the c5 is over scotland are we sure are you sure it is coming this way i've um fingers crossed uh da -da -da -dum, go through these messages yep so answered ryan hunt yep we're there here all week okay sam glover i'm just going to grab a shower leaving the dog with my laptop let me know if she types anything rude <laughs> nice one we'll catch you later sam all right uh fire to sweep my pleasure i'm already planning a trip up there but probably not until next year unfortunately um fire to sweep whereabouts are you sir let me know whereabouts you are um i think that was a gentleman was it a gentleman that used to be um based here at mildon hall I say there's so many messages that are coming through. Um, sometimes the brain gets doop, caught up. Okay, Sam Glover. Yep, he's going to have a shower. Yeah, yeah, I had a massive long shower earlier. Okay, can you see that? Here we go. Mr. Strix. That's the call sign. And that's our friend right next to me. Knocking his tent pegs in. It's all authentic, isn't it, eh? Warts and all. Thank you very much. It's our friend here from Holland. You see, as quick as that, his tent is up. I could never get the hang of that. Okay, back to it. Um. Also, a little earlier, I did a quick rerun of um, only on a rerun. I did a quick rerun of um, what we missed earlier today when I wasn't actually live so if you're interested you can rewind on this video hey there's a Hercules says Helen um, Ward yeah that's been in the circuit um, for the last uh, half an hour or so keeping us entertained Helen Ward says, oh, wow. Yeah, well, you should see what it looked like around about 15 minutes ago. The sky was incredible. So you, I really recommend you do watch this back and replay the, the um, I'm certainly going to watch it back because it did look stunning. I mean, the video was a little bit, you know, a bit ropey, but the, um, Hey, I can't fault the um, the sky in the background. It looked beautiful. Deepest, ah, fight to sweep from deepest, deepest Somerset. And that was not an accent from Somerset. That was useless, wasn't it? Hey, eh? um, have you got a good um, accent? Um, I love their accent down there. Jeff Bundy, heading your way at the moment. Is that C5? Is it descending? That's what I'm interested in. Is it coming to see us? Hope so. Jonathan Tucker. Hi, Stuart. Thanks for this. How about giving us a wave? Jonathan. There's a wave. There's a wave. <laughs> a big wave. Aviation Kid. Read my last three messages. I will do. Sorry, did I miss them? Phil Paris. Little joke there. Can't get the hang of that. <laughs> we do like a bit of fun. Um, Helen Ward, hey, I really recommend the Plane Finder app. It's free on the App Store. 
Okay, thank you very much for that. I shall check that out. Um, let's have a look then. At, um okay. Let's read these out. I do apologise. And if I do miss, miss it, because they say they're coming thick and fast. Um, Aviation Kid says, One tip, you could add moderators to your stream to um, for elite viewers. Yeah. Um, I could, yeah. What it is at the moment, it's really early days. Okay. So, um, I, at the moment, I, I want to keep everything if somebody wants to donate i really appreciate it and you know it's it's wonderful but at the moment i want to keep the chat box absolutely free uh so let's other question sorry about that so many buttons on here okay avian people have watched your videos hours upon hours yeah and it's appreciated it really is Okay, Helen Ward, I found the C5 on Plane Finder. Yeah, I use 360 radar. The reason for that is because I share my data to them. I've made, I built one of these Raspberry Pi things. I actually built one for um, Jamesy, who's um, on here. And um, Raspberry Pi is a little box, like a little mini computer, tiny little thing, only about 40 pounds. And um, it shows on your own computer the where all the planes are that you're picking up but you can share that um to different places and like 360 radar if you do that you get it all for free and their coverage is brilliant because you can then um because it does what's called m latin and that shows where aircraft are that wouldn't normally show wouldn't normally show uh, their positions in other words I won't go into the full details, but if you want to find out more about all of that, have a look at one of our tutorials about Virtual Radar Server. Just do a search on Airshow World for that. Here we go. Around we come. Back to the chat box in just a moment. Keep the uh, messages coming through. You can hear my mate. He's, uh, he's almost finished putting that tent up. In case you wondered what, what the noise was, it's okay. It wasn't uh, a U2 with engine trouble. Clearing the tree. Still a long way out because we're zoomed a long way in. That beautiful glow in the sky. There we go, by that willow tree. By the way, that noise is not me with my zip. <laughs> Try to keep him in the middle. And then disappearing over all the caravans. So, yes, if you're wondering why I'm not where I was right down by the fence earlier, it's because as dusk falls, the um, obviously you're not allowed in that section. That um, section where you go for the day, you can just park up here for the day, £1.50 each. Um, that closes at dusk and... I wouldn't then be able to come over here and get these fantastic um, evening shots for you. So that's why I'm over this part, but I wouldn't probably have be getting such nice uh, shots as that. So that's why we're not looking down the runway. Right, message box time. Here we go. Thank you very much. A lot of people enjoying this. Six, two, 
sorry if that was too too loud that's um fred the ted and he just walked past with his radio scanner thing it occasionally picks it up i do apologize um what have we got what have we got what have we got they're talking about this airplane that's on the way hopefully wow that's a lot of messages wow this is brilliant okay <laughs> little little joke there can't get the hang of that <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Ellen Word, hey, Stewie, yeah, we did the plane finder one. Okay, find a sweep. I'm here, come here. Find a sweep. Um, afraid I haven't. I haven't go the Somerset. Act. I haven't got. Yeah, missed out the T. That's okay. Auto correct can be naughty sometimes. I um, haven't got the Somerset accent. I'm an expat Essex boy. Big smiley face, Helen Ward. Its logo is. And you can see it. It's a little airplane. Mark Davy, the C5, is still at 35,000 feet, but it's still in Scotland, not descending as yet, though. Helen Ward, hi, I'm in Northamptonshire. If you had a really scorching hot day like down here in the field, it was like um, 40 degrees, um, 35 in the shade, around about 40. It was just too hot to carry on, but there was no flying. So in the afternoon at Mildenhall, Lots of flying at Lake and Heath. Get yourself over to Lake and Heath this week. They um they were flying from just after six thirty this morning. What a wake up call! I was wide awake anyway. David Roach, C five Fort William, currently at thirty five thousand feet. Thank you very much for that. Aviation kid, making people moderators are free. Thank you very much. Um, Ryan Hunt, um, you're there for the week. Two ride, mate. I'm here for the week. Um, Aviation Kid, you don't have to pay to chat if you're a moderator. I think I just did that one. Okay. Um, Strix 62 C130 J, um, and the registration going round is 135778. Squawk is 0460, 12,000 feet, 167 knots, making circuits. Absolutely. That wasn't too fast for you. I hope I'm not speaking too quickly for our, our friends in um, Switzerland and wherever uh, wherever else you are in the world. Sorry. Squawk was 0440. Says, ooh, the boo. Hey, ooh, the boo. Hey, you're back. We spoke to you last week, didn't we? Hey, so very nice to have you back on the show tonight. Um... John O.B., C5 in Scotland, airspace, B470 inbound. Let's hope so. Helen Ward, is that the same C130? Yeah, it's staying in the circuit, just going around last night's um, video that we did here, which you can rewatch if you want. Um, we had three at one point, all coming in at the same time, and um, it looked pretty good. Udabu, yep. Um, G N man. G hyphen N man. M A N, you're doing a great job, Stu. Thank you very much, David Edwards. Hi again at Mark D. Big wave and a wave back to you, my man. S nine three six Pharma C H. Great Pinocchio. <laughs> I'm not going to do any Pinocchio jokes. Okay, I've done no work for the last few days. It's all <laughs> my fault. <laughs> Hey, well, look, let's just hope tomorrow we get a bit more flying from uh, Mildenhall so you can uh, <laughs> get into even more trouble. Okay. Where are we? Sorry if I miss any messages. Ben Ikin. Ben Ikin. Okay, got it. Um, you can all. You can also... Oh, use ADSB Exchange. That is free for all. Yeah, it is. Uh also great stream hope to get down there next week okay i hope the weather's good for you next week and certainly enjoy the aircraft if uh, you get lots flying probably next week because i'm not here it'll probably be crazy and really busy but remember lake and heath is busy if you want to go to lake and heath this week at all this is the week to go okay mark davy hello mate too hot to model here so i thought i would watch um the stream Stuart's stream for a while well it's Mark Davy, it's an absolute pleasure to know you're out there watching and uh, watching a blank field at the moment. But um, we've got Strix in the circuit, and I hope um, you know a little bit of banter is uh, keeping you um, smiling, everybody out there. That's what we're trying to do. Um, okay, did that aviation kid right? Tell us about them. Uh, you can trust. Yeah, 
All right. It's absolutely free. Yep. Well, the channel is absolutely free. D stool. This, these planes fly over my house weekly. Love it, especially the F-18 Super Hornet. Oh, wow, yes. They're, they're some meaty aeroplane, aren't they? Hey? Carol Barnes, good evening. Near Norwich, it's a lovely evening. Oh, what an evening it is. Hey, just sitting out. And, um, yeah, probably looking at your phone or your... Um, iPad, whatever you've got, and uh, watching a bit of um, action every now and again when Strix comes around. I don't know if he's still in the circuit, but I'm going to keep it going for a little bit um, because we want to keep it live to see if that C5 turns up. Okay, Gary, where are we? Gary Keller, are you at the end of runway 29? Things have really changed since I was there. Um, Gary, um, I'm down at. Um, Runway one one end. Okay, so, uh, did, in your day, Gary, did they have those towers over there? Those water towers, you see. And just behind them, about four miles away, is Lake and Heath. So, let's move this back. So, to give you another bit of help, where um, this location is it's north west of Milden Hall itself in right next to West Row okay well it is West Row where there's a great little post office so if you come down here um, you've got no because it's £1.50 each to um, park here for the day to watch the aeroplanes so you pay that as soon as you come in if you've got no change or you need supplies just pop round to the fantastic little post office um, run by uh, Sarah and Steve and you can get change from there it's a little post office and get all your supplies for the day drinks and everything okay so we answered that one about the location David Edwards what you're building AT yeah um, AT at Mark D he makes model aeroplanes and things like that and I bet they're pretty good um, if you want on the Asia World Facebook um, channel, I think you can post things. Feel free. Yeah, if you want to post some of the pictures of your the models you've done, I'd love to see them. Helen Ward. Hey, Stu. Have you ever been to Duxford? Too right, we have. Yeah. And if you want to see the videos, there's loads of videos from Duxford on Asia World. We've got um, the hidden, a lot of them. Um, you just see the popular ones on the first page. But there's uh, one thousand, at least 1,500 different videos on there. So... That would keep you busy for a while, wouldn't it? Um, Simon Edwards, C5 Galaxy, reach 581, possibly bring in spares for the YouTube, perhaps, question mark, question mark. Could be, yeah. So that is not me out of breath. We've got a young man here blowing up um, a... He's blowing a doll up. No, he's not. He's blowing his bed up. <laughs> Behave. Hey, <laughs> just give me a slap wrist then. Simon Edwards, we just did that. D stool, great idea to stream at military airstrips. Not much like it on YouTube. Well, I'm pleased you're enjoying it. That's D stool. Who else have we got? Mark Davy, a one, one, two, four. Trumpet is junkers. Da 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 da. Oh, these are his models. There you go. So you can see all the different type of models he's doing. Nice. Ooh, the boots, C5, reach, let's have more info on this one, eight, f eight reach, 851, and tail number, 87, hyphen, zero, zero, two, nine, squawk, 1142, 35,000 feet, 416 knots, vicinity is, Perth is right up north, Scotland, not Perth, Australia, I hope not anyway. Take a long time to get here. Aviation kit, right? Okay, these two live by Whitby Island Naval Air Station. Hello, nice stream. Thanks very much. Um, if you missed the earlier bits, don't forget to remind you we had uh, a beautiful um, KC 10 at the start of the show. And uh, you really, sh if you're just joining us, you must see some of these sunset um, shots we, uh, we got. Oh, they were. They looked quite nice. Well, they looked okay through my little viewfinder. So, goodness knows what they looked like on a nice big TV. 
I'll, um, if I lose the plane just for a minute, it goes out of shops because I'm just looking at your messages. I don't want to miss anybody out. All oh, right. Benikin, looks like KC135 has turned his transponder onto quid 22. Is it on the ground? Will it be going up? That's the question. Okay. Oh, didn't mean to move it like that. James Ferry, um, I'm from Kettering, but I live in Croatia. Wow. What's it like in Croatia? Is it as hot as it's been here today? It's unusually hot for um, this part of the world. But it is normally warmer than a lot of the UK over here. It's whew. official and the shade was 35 degrees, but it was like, it must have been at least 40 in the direct sun. It was uh, crippling. Let's keep nice and quiet. Back to the chat box in a minute. Can I get that registration for you guys? I'm trying, I'm trying, trying. Don't know if you can see it on your big tellies, but I don't know. Right, sorry I moved too fast. Don't want to make you guys feel sick and dizzy. Especially Aviation Kid, because he's not, not been very well today. And I hope you're starting to feel a bit better. Right. Right, here. ho Let's have a look. See what we're diddling at. Okay. Perth is a town near Dundee. These two C seventeen. My phone's on charge, says Aviation Kid. That's what I've had to do with mine. I've uh, I saw, in my hand. You won't believe what I've got in my hand at the moment. <laughs> in my hand, I'm literally holding the uh, little charger uh, for it to uh, so we keep this phone running. The phone is used to be able to pick up your messages, okay? But sometimes it won't orientate. Come on. We want to see everybody's messages. There we go. We're back on the messages. Oh, Aviation Kid, I'm back. He's been charging his phone. Thank you. Thanks for being back. We missed. We missed you. We really did. Um, on Benikin on the ground. Yes. Big smiles. David Edwards, do you make paints for several? Com oh, sorry. He was asking somebody else that. Cool. Let's do it. I will post some up, mate. Cheers. That's all right. Been an absolute pleasure. Love to see. That. I think you can post your stuff on there. I, you know, um, we will see. Be nice to see them though. Oh, ah, shall I? I've never got the point of these live streams, and what's the interest in them? I don't know. Why are you on here? <laughs> you know, it's um, people like airplanes, and um, they, they like like their chit chat. Probably, I've no idea. Um, but if you rewind and see some of those sunset shots, you might uh, go, hey, that's nice. But, um, yeah, everybody's got different hobbies, you know. Um, live and let live. Enjoy what you do. Do you enjoy what you do? Um, Helen Ward, I was born in Kettering. Perth is a town. Yeah, we did that. Let's go there. Livia de Souza Ferrari. Or, or shall I... Um, Oh this, sh oh, this is a show, I guess. It's just a live stream, literally live, with some nutcase in a um, field at night filming um, some aircraft for you at uh, a military airbase here in the uh, United Kingdom at RAF Mildenhall. That's where we are, young man. A and um, Aviation Kid, so you were going to email. So I really don't know, Aviation Kid. I don't know. Um, family ties 
what, what have you I've been away for um, over a week so I, I really cannot say um, but uh, if I'm not there I think um, Jamesy might be knocking about somewhere but um, we, we will see how things pan out um, George good evening Stewie um, thank you for the show thank you it's an absolute pleasure great to know you're there Matt 52 just tracked back the C5 looks like it's coming from Dover Air Force Base Delaware just crossing Scotland England border still at 35,000 feet please don't go to Ramstein come here uh, aviation kid because it might interest you okay all right oh sorry because it might because I might meet you yeah okay be great to meet you mate it re really would um, this do I live in Washington State by Whidbey Island Naval Air Station they do touch and goes practice at least once uh, move down at least I lost it now. Uh, where's that message? Touch and go is practiced at least once a week um, with all kinds of miniature aircraft, especially F-18s. <laughs> Bring it on. Hey, we've got F um, US Air Force F-15s four miles from where we are right now. Um, Shirley Hughes, let's do MC-130J Reg is um, 13. Hyphen five seven seven eight cosine strix six two. Thank you, Shirley. You are a champion. Um, all right. He's downwind. Okay. Avian kid. I'm going gonna live stream um, my EMA trip on Sunday. Wonder wonder bath. That would be great. I'll look out for it. Uh, Matt fifty two C five more likely going further than the UK. Then uh, question mark question mark. Yes, we'll uh, keep it going live for a little bit longer just to make our minds up what it's doing. Um, Kieran, uh, where would you recommend spotting at Marham? Um, Jamesy might be able to answer that question if James is still about. Jimbo, uh, um, he might be able to tell you. Good evening. Um, Italian living in um, right Zag. Zagreb and um, greetings from Croatia. I'm near Plesto Airport here. We can still see the MiG-21 flying almost every you're joking me. Wow You're a very lucky man um, You would love it. We certainly would and I'd love to be there um, Do they allow you to, um, to I know some countries um, it's a bit taboo to be able to take military aircraft um, especially <laughs> If you're in Greece, uh, we don't want to get locked up for months on the end Well, I'm going to show you I don't know if this camera is going to pick it up, but um, <laughs> that's a weird looking cloud formation. Does that mean we've got one hell of a storm coming tonight? I don't know. Right, back to where that uh, sunset was and uh, I can still hear noise behind me. So I should keep the stream coming a little bit longer just while we ponder as to whether that C5 will be here. Um, okay. Thank you, Elaine Hewitt. C5 not planned to land at Mildenhall. Our hearts suddenly sink, don't they? Um, oh, I shall. Uh, I'm a big fan of airplanes, especially remote control ones, and I'm already in love with your live stream. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. We, we love you guys as well, and uh, especially we love the ladies. We love the ladies more. Um, but no, se seriously, on a s serious note, thank you very much. If you are watching this for the first time, the Asia World's been going for 11 years, but the live streams, less than two weeks, okay? So it's alert. It's something we're doing, hopefully going to do more of. But the success of it is only down to you guys, okay? So if you enjoy it, please subscribe to Asia World. Click the option that says get notifications. You will then know when we're live. Right, let's have a look. Quick message from Helen Wood. Right, I've, I've got to go. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the stream and good luck to you Stu on your plane spotting adventures well, I'm not really into plane spot but yeah yeah I, I know where you're coming from and uh, so I'll do this for you guys so you can um, get a feel of what it's like down here maybe you might pop down sometime Andrew Austin I wonder how many times the Eagles were refueled during their journey over the lake over to Lake and Heath that was these F-15s that came over um, today and um, when we went live we filmed the tanker the KC-135 at the beginning of the show for you and they bought these F-15s and uh, they're going to be going to um, Saudi Arabia okay well that's what I've been told ah right we've got that one Matt 52 at Simon Edwards possibly looks like she may be turning east 
Rudabu, it seems that the C5... Whoops. Take a direction to Europe. Yeah, it looks like it. Aviation kid, my first love. My first... Yeah. It, it means live stream in one month. Okay, Aviation kid at map 52. What trackers are you using to track the C5? Um, Benzoid, hello from Los Angeles, California. Fornia, what a wow place. We get out all over the world and uh, starting to get a lot of people from uh, the USA. Um, I've been noticing by um, where people are when I look at um, the information that comes through. No, not just on the chat box, but it says what part of the world. So that's wonderful. And thanks for the wonderful vids. It's an absolute pleasure. It's a pleasure to do it. Um, George, Stu, is it still very hot there? It's absolutely scut, but it's nice. It's the best part of the day, to be honest. See, the camera is... Um, it's getting really dark now, but the camera's doing a great job of picking the aircraft out for you. We'll just hold that like that a minute. Oh, that's bad news. Uh, Gordon Smith, sorry, Stu. C5 turned east. What a shame. And... Um, Unfortunately, at the moment, there's nothing else in the circuit. So, a little later, I might go off air if, and I don't think they will go up tonight, but if the um, Ospreys do go up, um, I will uh, go live, providing it's not too late at night, because I'm sure you appreciate. I don't think the people in tents would appreciate me shouting out to you guys at about uh, one o'clock in the morning. Don't think it would go down too well, even though we've got a uh, night vision on here. And I'm sure we'll get an opportunity sometime this week to get those Ospreys for you with that green glow that comes off the um, props. Right. Righty how? Chat box time. See what we're doing, because I don't want to miss anyone out right deep intake of breath there wow it's hot okay Jason Martin thanks for the streams really enjoyed them thank thank you very much and keep it going please I certainly will do I promise you Gary Keller, yes, remembered the... Ah, oh, that's brilliant, Gary. Uh, remember the towers? I think most of the aircraft uh, viewing in my time was the other end. Lots of changes since 1969. Well, I should think there would be. Um, but, um, Gary, it's an absolute pleasure and hope um, this is bringing back um, a few memories for you. Matt, 52, cool. Um, don't forget, um, Gary... Um, I'll be live, um, hopefully, well, if there's any action tomorrow, I'll be live right here in the daytime. Um, could be for any time from literally 8 o'clock in the morning or even earlier. If we've got lots of action going on, I'll just flick the switch. We'll go live. So uh, don't forget to subscribe. The option says get notifications. You'll know the minute we go live. Uh, right, Matt52, cool. Don't forget, rewind some of this and see those fantastic... I shouldn't say fantastic. I'm not. Bl I, no, that's naughty. I'm not going to blow my own trumpet. But it looked nice. And if you've got a nice TV, those sunset shots were quite nice. Um, Timmy, toothpick C5 looks like it's going to Germany. Yeah, it would do, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, oh, I shall. Um, how do you see these planes? Um, is it some type of flight? Ri exactly. That's what it is. Um, a lot of people are viewing them on um, a flight radar, uh, a virtual radar server. Basically, if you want to know more, Airshow World, right? Go to the um, page itself, the YouTube channel, right? And just do a search on Airshow World for virtual radar server. It'll um, show you how to make your own, and it explains a little bit about it. Um, I'll take it right from scratch, okay? But. Hey, it all depends if you can understand my um, banter. Uh, how do you... Yes, we did that. Matt52. Uh, yeah, he's talking to Aviation Kid. Yeah, we used Frida as well. And... No movement at Mildenall until 20... 
315 quid to two departure lane thank you very much that's excellent obviously i won't be able to be here and go live at that time of night I don't think, as I said, we would be very popular. David Roach, loving the footage of Mildenhall and sorry for getting your hopes up for the C5 from, well, hey. It hits the pan. It's the fan sometimes. No. The sound of Ospreys is very distinctive. Oh yeah, you're telling me. When I'm in my van at night and they come directly over, pots and pans rattling. Almost throws you out the bed. <laughs> it's great. I love it. I love it. Bring them on in the middle of the night. Uh, lane here. It's on the... the mil I think there's a mistake on that one. Okay. Ah, here we go. Next. It's It did it again. It's on the Mildenhall Movements page on Facebook. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, if anybody wants to post this on the Mildenhall Movements thing, please feel free. I don't... I don't normally post it basically i just don't want to blow you know i don't want people to think too oh, big head and all of that you know and yeah i like other people to do that sort of if you enjoy it okay david edwards at asia world what camera are you using it's the um sony ax53 fantastic camera to use handheld as i've said to people before but it's not my favorite for on a tripod but it seems to be working well on the tripod tonight at least i think it looks okay through my little screen some fabulous sunset shots thanks thank you very much that matt 52 Stuart bridges hi how are you i'm pretty good mate it's been a scorcher of a day but we're we sort of coped couldn't get to lake and heath though so apologies for that um oh ah chalet your accent is strong and i like it thank you that's very kind of you um aaron wisby how are you folks and um thank you very much Ooh, the just a minute. Ooh, the boo. A400 Z um, Zulu Mike 407. Take off. Bryce Norton. One thousand. Hold on. 10,000 feet. Direction to Mildenhall. I hope. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Pff, that's. I, I've. That's too much to wish for, isn't it? Eh? If you're talking about the C5, it's up north of Britain. Thank you, Aaron. Very strong smell of the. Uh, Thai smoke from the aircraft that is really delayed isn't it um, cause it went through a while ago so wow you can really smell it's a shame it's not smelly vision mind you sometimes if I get too close to people it's not a bad thing um, <laughs> Aaron Wisby uh, but he's giving him some information there uh, okie dokie alright that's a big um list we just went through megan's dad you sound remarkably like simon calder right well actually <laughs> i'm not going to say anything yeah the man in disguise here you know the have you seen some of the um strike fighter balls videos amazing first person videos made by the fighter pilots um, on the year's cruise deployment some great footage okay we'll check that out and anybody else um, check that out as well whoever you are wherever you are give us a mention yeah thundering by is it aviation kid wow that's possibly heading our way because as I pointed out you know there's some uh, thunder clouds you see the thunder clouds yeah so it certainly could we could get some um a bit of a storm tonight but i'd rather have it at night than uh, disrupting us in the daytime and it might if it does happen it might clear the air a bit yeah it's quite a sight that is isn't it yes, my friend here for sorry i've uh, i've terrible i forgot your name what, what's your name young man Minnow, Minnow, I it. Minnow turned up earlier and you could hear, hear that banging. That was Minnow just there from Holland and um, putting his tent together. Yeah. It's all done. You soon got that up. We were wondering what that noise was earlier, that um, whoo, 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 you were <laughs> inflating your bed. Hey, bed. Of course, of course you were. Everybody was having a joke. One thought I was blowing, uh, pumping something cup. Look at him smiling and laughing. We, we... 
<laughs> we know what we're thinking. <laughs> Breathe heavily. <laughs> Okay, in the distance just there, you can see it's getting dark and um, the camera makes it look lighter than it actually is. But I tell you, it is getting very dark here now. It's the most beautiful summer's evening. John Travolta, Summer Nights. I tell you, it is beautiful. All you need is a couple of nice drinks and you'll be well away. Hopefully some of you are sat outside watching this, having a drink. Lovely. Well, he's entertaining us anyway. Sometimes, what what we do, and um, let me know if you, you, you like these. Um, when it gets very quiet, to keep the live stream actually running, what I sometimes do is um, do like a rerun of um, an old air show yeah so i've been doing little bits for, of um actually i did some departures i think either yesterday or today from um the royal international air tattoo so it was like a, a rerun of it but um <laughs> if uh, i do do that at any time don't get confused we haven't suddenly skipped to a, a different airfield it's just a, i'm just trying to entertain you guys while nothing is happening which does happen at air bases um luckily we've got this Strix C-130 doing circuits. Uh, every inch kid, I'm scared of thun thunder, lightning, okay? Have a look at um, the, I think it was the second ever stream I did um, a week last Friday. And I was at East Midlands Airport filming. And uh, yeah, I was filming, yeah, no problem at all there. It was a beautiful, scorching hot evening. But all of a sudden, the clouds came in and we had this almighty um, mother of all thunderstorms. Yeah, lightning coming down, smashed thunder away. Oh, it was crazy. And uh, I've, I've called it, something like, I don't know, scary something or other. Um, filming at East Midlands Airport, scary, Wh whatever. It's on the first page anyway. It should still be there because it's a newish video. If not, just type in something like um, uh, thunderstorm or scary filming at East Mids. You'll find it. And uh, if you do watch it, just it's only about 16, 17 minutes long. But fast forward it to the middle bit, and you'll see the lightning bolts coming down. And they were right. They were very close. They came right over the top of me. Had to go off off air because it just wasn't uh, well we were getting soaked basically the storm <laughs> I got soaked but it was a scorching hot night and it was it was like uh, oh, cooled us down oh, da, 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 da. how hot has it been it's been scorching um, J Penn has, um, a RGI photography it's been absolutely scorching and another great supporter of the channel there so thank you very much um, that drink was much appreciated by the way yesterday uh, 35 degrees in the shade for at least 40 out in the, the field and uh, very little flying at Milden Hall but Lake Heath was very very busy we went there yesterday uh, Aaron Wisby, hey, you may see a glimpse of the A400 because it's very close. Okay, so I haven't had a chance to ha even have a look at um, uh, 360 radar tonight. Do you want to be um, blow up? <laughs> There's a little icon of a sheep getting a very strong smell of the um, tires and the rubber, burn burning rubber on us and. Uh, so the wind is coming straight the wind there's no wind but whatever there is it's coming straight towards us George nice shots too that's okay keep saying it make sure you replace some of this and look at the shot earlier so beautiful sunsets um, Timmy Toothpick C5 appears to be on direct route to Ramstein yes we might have guessed that was going to happen some multicolored Chaser lights and it would be a flying Christmas tree. <laughs> yes, like it. Udaboo, quid is moving. Excellent. 
I can hear it right behind me. Aaron Wisby, the A400, maybe coming your way because it's very close. I did that a minute ago, didn't I, George? George, I like the idea of showing returns while waiting on this. Thanks for that. Let me know because, yeah, I um, I don't know. I do these things. I don't know if you like them or not. But, uh, yeah, it just fills the gaps sometimes. I'm keeping it going at the moment because we've got that... Um, whoops, sorry. We've got that C130 just bobbing about. So, But sometimes... I could be here for hours and you just don't want to see uh, a runway with nothing on it so if that does if you're watching a stream sometimes especially in the day you think that's Fairford what's he doing there that's what it is all about okay um any action over Lake and East no there's not Lake and East has gone ghostly quiet they're probably having an early night and getting ready for lots of action tomorrow but who knows they might go up a little later this evening they're saying they could be flying anytime day or night Phil Boardman, hi Stu, um, Stu, lighting at London, Oxford, lightning, I do apologise, um, uh, so it could be heading our way, none by you at the moment, but um, we've got the clouds that are looking like it could happen, but we'd rather have it at night, wouldn't we, clears the air, um, yep, um, we've got a special message come here through, if you do do hit that um, little button that does the donate, um, you get an automatic mention immediately, and it stands out and it comes right out at me. So Jay Penners, A R G I Photography, look that guy up, okay? And I will certainly look at your f photography stuff. And he's just donated two pounds to the um, Better Good, so I can have a drink on that top man. Thank you very very much. So if any other kind people, hey, feel free if you want to do that. I wouldn't say no, you know. Again, encourages me to get out there and do the business. Okay, Elvis is back in the building. We love Elvis. Um, good evening from Elvis. And Elvis is down in Southampton. No doubt, Elvis. You've had another scorching hot day. <sighs> I've been telling the guys earlier. It's been crazy. And I was just unable to get over to Lake and Heath but I've enjoyed it here I've enjoyed it more to be honest because it was only 4 F-15s and I know they're on delivery to Saudi and all the rest of it but I've enjoyed it more here I wouldn't have got that incredible shot earlier uh, and those beautiful sunset shots so I'm glad I am where I am I love this place and you must come over sometime guys um, quid taxi now and I can hear it I can't look down the runway tonight I explained that earlier that section closes um, at dusk uh, um, but who knows is it going out somewhere or is it going in the circuit and does it mean that um, the Ospreys might go up if it did happen that the Ospreys did go up and providing we didn't get a thunderstorm I might even go live for you to get the shots because I'd love to get that green glow for you off but we will see how it goes but i wouldn't do all the chit chat okay <laughs> you'd probably enjoy that okay so the telling is all about the kc135 uh uk 240 elvis is in the house uh -huh. see i was a bit worried when elvis first started coming on here because um i didn't know if he'd take offense but hey it took a gate um seriously elvis is such a nice guy and he's down and and he likes uh, the little band bit of banter okay timmy toothpick with a new age of global warming you brits <laughs> will need to get some air con yeah so much moaning today on big jet tv about the heat it was funny yeah i it was and jerry it's a fantastic chap. I was talking to him yesterday and early today. And he mentioned us a couple of times. And a uh, real nice guy. But, um, yeah, he was suffering just like all of us. But um, he stuck around for quite a while here at Milden. He was right next to me. Stuck around for quite a while, but um, there was nothing happening. Uh, he was hoping that the U2 would take off. But I said, mm, I don't think it will. I think it's here for a while. Sam Glover just checked the latest lightning strikes. And the nearest... Oh, near Oxford. So you're okay for now, Stu. But you can see that cloud over there. I keep getting a feeling it's raining, but it's a crystal clear sky right above me. There we go. Um, where were we? Where were we? 
can you hear <laughs> the quid just taking off wow wish i could have bought you the takeoff of that but um say so that is impossible um at this time of the evening yes it was funny i live in britain the heat isn't even bad uh, but um over this part here i just it was it was so we're not used to it us brits but we're not used to uh in the field of where well, 35 degrees and in the shade meaning it's about 40 we're not used to that and uh, no swimming pool to jump in unfortunately um okay. oh that's interesting to know thank you very much or um Shalev is from israel and it's really dry from from military planes and even passenger planes too kind of disappointing hey during uh, the main part of lockdown over in the uk there was next to nothing flying apart from the military they um were actually making the most of the um clear skies of uh, aircraft and there was a lot going on there but of course on the main part of lockdown nobody could get out in the cars as soon as they could hey everybody was going down to um watch the Okay, watching the aircraft down at Lake Ease and places like that. So that quid, um, because I've got Fred the Ted just near me with his walking about with his radio. It just said that um, the quid is going to do one circuit and then go off and do his work where he's going to go. Elvis, watching your channel tonight has cheered me up as it's not been a, been good with this hot weather. I'm. Close.